me 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 microphone check one two three four <laughs> um hi everyone i have a week old manicure on and i'm not mad about it at all i am in fact actually pretty sad that we're about to be taking this off because uh it's looking fantastic to be honest but it has been on for a week since last Saturday, since almost last time I streamed, and it's time to change that. So, I'm gonna start out with the usual start of stream things Twitter, Discord, and etc. And of course, if you're in the future on YouTube, future people, um, you can subscribe if you like nail art, if you like this type of thing. And if you'd like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP. Uh, there's the Twitter. There's the Discord. And the thing is, the other reason I'm like not really looking forward to taking this off is I don't know what I'm putting on <laughs> instead. Um, so there's that. Um, let's just let's see where where are my there we go dashboard notification things thank you things um hi amethyst hi son um i'm i'm super disorganized i'm late i am uh i don't know what i'm putting on my nails and i'm sad to take off this like you guys there's no chips I've been to the fair two times. I've, yeah, I've given myself a hair transformation. This manicure <clears throat> has hung in there so strongly. And uh, if you forgot, it's multi-chrome. Yeah, it is. Where's, where's the, where's the goldy look? Even this flashlight is just, okay, not wanting to cooperate with me today, is it? Mm. Giving you guys a little bit of, there, we, there's some of it, and some of the hollow, too. Of course, camera, web camera is not the ideal for the uh, multi-chrome. It's been a week. It's been a week. I haven't streamed since my last very, very horrible 106 run. Guys, I don't want to take this off. I mean, I suppose I could maybe do something on top of it, but I don't know. The first thing we're going to do, I think, partly because, like, I'm indecisive and I don't fully want to take this off and I don't know what I'm putting on. We're going to finish our foil testing. Um, because I feel like that's something that I don't want to, like, forget about. Um, so let me see here. Hey, yo. Yeah, I wonder. Because, I, I mean, for me, it's just like, well, okay, this is, this is what happens when you don't use a peel-off base coat. Like, wow. Reasons why people actually like regular base coat. Where is that gold that we were using for our testing before? Did I put it... I might have to tie this back. I'm not used to having braids this long. I don't know if I've ever had it this long. Did I not put that back in here? Okay, here it is. Here it is. I don't know if my new ones are actually going to fit in the box with these or if I'm going to have to start like a second box of nail foils. I'm, I'm just so impressed with how it's worn. I really, really am. And I mean, maybe it's just because I'm so used to peel off base coat that like, I don't understand that regular manicures can actually last. I'm just like, look, everybody look. <clears throat> I mean, it's literally, it, and I mean, I like it, obviously. It's not like, well, there's no chips and it's boring. There's no chips and it's awesome. Let's uh, grab a lid here, like a smallish lid whoa whoa okay <laughs> um
Yeah. I'm glad you're liking it better this time, Amethyst. Yeah, it really is. And I mean, like, even like tipware, like, can I get a good like shot of the tips here? This is like a weird angle. Like, I don't, I don't have tipware. It just, it wore like fucking iron, you guys. Literally. I mean, I've been to like a, having a busy week for me. Not just a, not just a normal week. Um, so let me get a little dish here so we can put out the 99% isopropyl alcohol that we acquired from Amazon. Um, actually, no, I'm going to need the other scissors. Where are the, okay, there they are. Because we need the very nice sharp scissors for cutting foils. And we just need like a little bit. Just a, well, what are you doing in here? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I guess we can use some of this. Um, maybe like two portions of that. <laughs> this must be from when I did my nails. I must have just cut off this whole strip. I forgot this was in there. Okay, and somewhere I'm hoping. I'm hoping very much that it is in the box with the gel polish is the test strip with the other tests on it so that this can just live together with that is the plan. Um, let's see if that's a viable plan. Mm. Also, tonight is race night. I'm late, obviously. I didn't actually address this. I'm late because I was finishing up my hair. So I, I am sorry about being late, especially because it's race night. So we're kind of on a, on a deadline. Hi, Karen. Um, but I really wanted to get my hair finished. Okay. I should have top coated or did, yeah, I did top. It is top coated. That was the whole test. Doug collab. Okay. So Madame Glam and Pink Jalak. Our, our variable, well, one of the variables, the other variable from our previous testing, we did acetone and we did alcohol camera. And you can see the acetone ones turned out way better than the alcohol ones. So, um, we're going to need, we're going to need the, the UV light. Thank you, son. I I saw a glimpse of it. I didn't. Uh, oh dang it! Come on here. What? Okay. I didn't look too much into it. I was. I saw. Um, when Doc was asking about like adding a thing to Discord that would let people listen to music together, and X mentioned that. Uh, Ben had something like that. So I think he must have checked out Ben's Discord and then added the same bot to his Discord. And then I saw, like, when I went to bed that they were all in chat, but then I saw X posted a clip. So he must have, what, started streaming again at some point? <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad they had fun. I know Doc's been having kind of a stressful month. Well, coming coming into this month and coming into next month. So, um, okay, so we have a lamp. We don't really have anywhere to put it, so we'll just put it right there. That's fine. <laughs> um, where'd the blue pen go that I was using? It'd be nice to write on here in the same color. Was it this? That's not blue. This is blue. Okay, so over here will be the pink Jalak. This is not the same pen. This is like some kind of felt tip pen. Uh, 99, and this is gonna be the Madame Glam 99. And we're gonna start out with a couple coats of the black. Why did I get out there? 
Oh, wait, okay, this one and this one. And then we've also got the nail foil gel, of course, which I, I did. Where did I put it? I did buy a, repla a refill because, like, it's a pretty small bottle. But I don't remember exactly where I put it, which is, could be kind of a problem. Okay, that's the Madame Glam. This is Pink Jalak. And they do not, of course, cure for the same amount of time. Okay, so we'll just keep, we'll do the longer one. Okay, this is going to be like kind of a slightly skinnier one because obviously I don't want to cover up the hole. But it should be like enough for us to get like a decent test. And we'll put this to cure and then we'll start cleaning off um, the foil. So basically, if you, yeah, we're going to have to, let's just do like this. Um, if you haven't been with us for the previous testing, um, foils seem to stick better if you remove their little residue coating. I, I don't know what it is. But you can remove it and different um I don't want to call them I mean removers obviously but w different ones create different effects and I'm not fully happy with either of my options right now okay so cut this in half we got a couple q-tips we got a little dish here and we're going to be very careful with our 99% alcohol. I mean, I don't think it's that much more dangerous than 91%, but like the warning is extremely larger. So, I mean, I don't know. Where's that? Let's do like this. I'm just going to open it like I usually do and like be very careful. I mean, I'm only using a very, very small amount. And then we'll just put it back over here. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this will probably evaporate a little quicker because it's 99%. Ooh, it's a very... I mean, you can see right away it brings out the hollow. I'm not seeing a lot of discoloration on the Q-tip, but, oh, there's some. But not so much that we're wiping away the design, which is what happened with the acetone. Ooh, squeaky. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm in no danger of, of removing the design. <clears throat> Ooh, dental work, ew. By the way, son, I didn't read that earlier. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm not for sure on what I myself am having for dinner. So I don't know how helpful I am. It does look like, I mean, just look already. It's like dry over here. Like I can tell that it evaporates faster than the regular alcohol. And of course this is like completely non-scientific testing, you guys. You know, whatever this is, that's what we've removed. So, and maybe to make a point of like moving them from where they are so they have a, have a better chance to dry. Okay, let's do the second coat of black. I mean, are you, yeah, is it still painful at all, son, or go for something soft? Like mashed potatoes, or I don't know. 
my favorite things that I had at the uh, fair were potato based. So, and we will, I don't know when the fair slideshow stream will happen, but I guess people are interested enough to do it. <laughs> it kind of does, Karen. All right, get in there. So, I don't know, you guys. What do you think? I mean, it really is evaporating really quick. I feel like this seems super positive. Where did I put my... Uh... Which one did I decide I liked for this? Was it like the kind of doe foot shaped one? Oh, wow. You've still got your wisdom teeth, Amethyst? I think it was this one this little shaped one <laughs> uh what, what is it? it's like a sliced cone i don't know what what do you call the shape i mean doe foot yes but is there like a actual i mean it's not like a triangle or you know a square it's a it's a slanted conical type of situation okay so now we need each of these a thin coat of the gel adhesive thin and even again and like really smooth like if there's bubbles or anything that's going to come through visibly in the foil okay oh hello Miss Marshmood, thank you for the follow. All right, let's let's go with that. There's a couple bubbles, but I mean, this is just the testing. I'm not gonna not gonna stress about it. We'll still be able to see what we're really looking to see. Just one son, yo, <gasps> twelve months. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you so much for the support for a full freaking year oh my god <laughs> one year uh oh thank you miss marshmoo we we have, this is actually what we're probably maybe taking off it all when 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 it's like a year when it's like double digits it's like holy crap how have i been streaming that long thank you so much yo oh no that I, yeah that would kind of suck if you were in a job i mean you don't think of dentists being like a stand-up job but you still gotta be able to like move around decently <laughs> i'm glad that's that's what it's all about is the fun oh, this one's taking so long it's because i'm impatiently waiting okay angled column that would work okay so Will this be as good as the, uh, as good as the acetone is the question. Once top coat is applied, when the top coat is applied is when it really seems to come down to it. Like when the, uh, that's when the other one's really crinkled. I mean, you can see, especially with them, like, right next to each other here. Like, what the original foil looks like on the side, and then, like, the two that were acetone and the two that were regular alcohol. Hello, camera! Camera! There. So, as... Woo! Careful as usual hold on to your tools um buff the foil like you want to make sure it's as well adhered as possible and then yeah that's pretty good like i said any little bubbles or weird spots in the application of the uh the gel adhesive can lead to issues 
so when it's, when it's on your nails like you really want it and I mean you can you can take as much time as you want because it's not going to cure until you put it under the lamp hello please come off yeah we got several bubbles there okay so pink gelac ultra shine Cap. Ow. Hey. Welcome on in, Bainey. How you doing, great boy? You okay sharing space with the uh with the lamp there, friend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do you object to that smell? I think I might have to move it. Or just hold it. We really only have one cure left. And see how this holds up. <gasps> the final test. I mean, they look good so far. It didn't like crinkle on contact. Yeah, and I think, again, these do not have the same... Yeah, they don't have the same cure time. Oh, well. <laughs> Benny, why you always loaf away from the camera? And what you got on your face? Hmm? You got a dirty face? <laughs> Make sure my hands don't smell like polish. Yeah, you got eye goobies. There you go. There you go. Is that better? Yeah, you look much handsomer. Clean face boy. Okay. I guess we can just look at this while... Oh, it's done. I was going to say we could just look at this while we wait. Okay. So. I think that's a pretty good... Oh my god, tiny small spider. Please die die okay it's fine it was it was really like microscopically small um like it's oh, camera please it's much better than the regular alcohol let me turn this around so you guys can see my notes so we have the pg is pink gelac the mg is madame glam and then we have the 99%, the acetone, and the regular alcohol. Oh, come on, camera. You had it for like a minute. I might have to turn on the manual. There we go. So the 99, like the problems there are problems with my application of the gel. And I really should have been a little bit cleaner with it. But it didn't like... You could see here, like, this is so dull with the regular alcohol. I, I'd say that it competes with the, uh, with the acetone without the risk of fully freaking removing the design, which is what happened with the acetone. Um, so yeah, well worth the little, I, what was this, like two, two something dollars? It's a smallish... Well, it's like what 16 fluid ounces like it's a smallish bottle compared to my other bottle of 91 percent alcohol but uh if you if you are interested and you can't find it at your local like pharmacy or whatever which is what i heard because i was like i don't feel like i remember seeing it when i got the 91 percent hey trey lala <clears throat> and excuse my like slight hoarseness you guys I do have water. I do have tea. Oh, and guess what else I have? Um, also courtesy of Amazon. I have to decide what to do with them. Silicone placemats. So, because we decided 
well, we decided, we, we belatedly realized that everybody that said that polish dried better on silicone was right. Um, and I have a couple things that like, I still like using other things for, for a variety of reasons. So I'm thinking one of these, this is like a two pack, right? One of these, I think I want to cut up into smaller squares or like rectangles, like maybe six pieces. You guys see like how big it is? Like maybe six squares. And the other one, I want to like trace out some circles to fit like some of my lids so that I have some easily manageable squares for like folding over for fluid art. And so that I have some like inserts for some of my lids for doing um, drip marbles. Because, you know, I can't like pick up my miracle mat and do stuff with it. So I got these and uh, a raw carrot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what everybody was saying when we started talking about it. Hey, music gal. So yeah, I'm hoping these are, I mean, like I don't need like a super high quality silicone. I just need like a regular ass silicone. So we have this to play with as well. Yeah, give me just a sec sun there yeah i mean technically they're placemats um they're not they're pretty thin they're uh but i, I think they're gonna be perfect for what i want them for there you go and anybody else and it's a it's like a two-pack um like some of the other ones were like more expensive like for a four pack or something. It's like, I don't think I really am going to need that many. Like I'm not going to be using the whole thing all at once. It's not like they're only good to use once and you got to get rid of them or anything. They're going to be long lasting. <laughs> Wait, the raw carrot is his pet. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and these do, like, if you just want, like, a little bit of extra, these do come in colors. I just got the clear because, I mean, you know, nail art. So, for anybody that's just joining us, we tested the 99%, and the camera is, of course, not cooperating when I want it to. Camera. 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 There. The 99% did good. The flaws were of my creation. So next time we do like a foil manicure, we're going to be using the 99% for sure. <clears throat> you love them, but you want to kick them. Well, isn't that what love's all about? Refraining from kicking each other. I need some sugar, I think. Like I just finished my tea. I have the best sugar right now, though. I have expensive sour licorice from the fair. And what I really should do, what I've been meaning to do, and what I just haven't done yet, is, like, take a knife or something and cut them into, like, couple inch, uh, like this much. Because right now they're really long. <laughs> So sorry, sugar break. Mm-hmm. It's got this stuff inside of it. It's so delicious. Oh my God, and it's sour. It's like perfectly sour. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty funny. Amethyst. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a Twitch baby. Ash. Hi Ash. Congratulations on our Twitch baby. <laughs> I'm having a sugar uh, a sugar break for a moment. Mm. Thank you so much for the nine months of support. Holy crap. I suppose since it's been a week there's like people that have been like waiting for days and days to possibly share their 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 sub 
I feel it really felt very, very strange not to stream for a week. I have to admit, it wasn't like, oh man, what a relief not having to stream. Like, no, it felt weird. It felt like just very, very weird. Okay, so let's put all this back in the in the gel box. Unless we're going to use it. What are, what are we doing on my nails, you guys? I don't want to take this off until I have a plan to replace it. Because, I mean, it's so... I just realized the beanie ditched us. When did that... Hey, no, no. 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 Stop that. They're not for you. Not for beans. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> he was going over. At, he was, I was like, what are you playing with there? He was playing with some of the leftover braids because the ends are like a skinny. And he apparently liked that very, very much. <laughs> Come back over here, Beanie. Come here, I'll give you a treat. Wait, can I back up this claim? Yeah, I do. I do have treats for beans. I do have treats for beans right here. Come here. Leave all my stuff alone. You can't... Oh, with the dental stuff, you're not supposed to have sour things? Oh, no. I was going to say, he didn't even come over here, but then I looked and he was. He's, he's stealthy. Are you such a stealthy little boy? You want this? You want this treat right here? There you go. <laughs> hey, Basenji. Plus, yeah, when Ash resubs is a perfect time to uh, give Beanie treats because I know that Ash is always a Beanie treat advocate. <laughs> the Naughty Kitty Club. That sounds like a club that every single kitty should be in, is what it sounds like. <laughs> okay, I mean... I, I could just, like, put something on top of this and wear it for a few more days. Always treat Feeny. Ah, no, I should, I should take it off. A week is enough. I just really... You guys... Some of you were here. A lot, lot of you here, most of you actually were here. Camera. We did this last Saturday. It's flawless. It's flawless, you guys. Because this is what happens when you don't wear a peel-off base coat. So I guess, like, also the lesson here is, like, I don't need to do a gel manicure for my vacation for it to really protect my nails. I just need to do a kick-ass regular base coat manicure and we should be good. Yeah, and for those who, like, weren't here, didn't catch the whole thing, like, I didn't just, like, you know, of course, use regular base coat. Like, I did, like, the super-duper wrap method where you do, like, you wrap the underside of your nails also with the base coat and the top coat, and I think that, like, we don't, there's not even any tip wear. Okay, there's a tiny bit of tip wear right there. Now, now that I get at this, like, super good angle, but, like, mostly there's not even any tip wear, you guys. There's zero chipping and like 100% awesomeness this is true it's like and, and sometimes that happens Beanie is probably just aiming for another treat come here come here good boy there's nothing there haha ha. just settle can you settle do you want my sketchbook out of your chair do you want my q-tips out of your chair do you want to come over here? That's the thing. That's the thing. Grr, I hope mobile works better for you, Treylala. Here, here we go. Hi, Beanface. <laughs> What, what are you doing? Where, where are you going? What's happening here? <laughs> oh, 
Where, where are you going? Oh, curling up. Assuming the position. Hi. He just curls up like a little baby. Um, okay, I, and I like I can't I don't actually see this on Amazon anymore or on their website. I don't know if it got renamed to whatever their base coat is now. It's just two. Base coat two. Oh, can you guys hear him? <laughs> oh, okay, so you guys wanna talk about paper. Now, you know, you can, like, paper cut yourself on things that aren't paper. But, he's, you know, it's, like, basically, like, a fucking horrible-ass paper cut. Hey, Athelis. You, got, you guys want to make any bets on what I managed to paper cut myself on? Doesn't look too bad, right? Well, you can tell. It kind of looks angry. It's a little bit longer than really shows. It's, it's, it's pretty sore. It was not pleasant doing my hair with this thing fresh. This is from a blade of grass. It bled. It actually bled. I was just like playing tug of war with Clark with this blade of grass. <laughs> and it was like, and I was like, oh, and I looked and it was like, I mean, it wasn't like gushing blood, but like it was like welling blood. And I was upset. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Beanie, are you are you happy, boy? Is this just everything you always wanted? World fame and pets. <laughs> Yeah, it it was zebra grass and it actually it's like it is a pretty sturdy grass and it was actually like the stalk of it. So it's like actually like one of my not so favorite garden plants, but Beanie and Clark both love it. Yeah. Are we almost done with loving time here? Almost done? Yeah. What do you hear? Huh? Come on, what do you think? Can we go back in Beanie's chair? He like grabs grabs on even more. Mm. He really is. He is the softest boy. Look at look at that. I mean his fur is just like like he's not a he's not a long hair, but he's not a short hair either. He's like definitely medium fur. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh my God! I can imagine. I I could I could a hundred percent see that. And also hello, and also I hope you're you're doing well. He likes being itched on the top of his head. He likes being petted right directly on his face and itched right on the top of his head. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna be doing the kick thing like a dog? Am I right at the goodest spot? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was like such good scritches. Can we go back in Beanie's chair now? Beanie's chair. <laughs> you see this look he's giving me like, no, no, yes. Beanie's chair, come on. Yeah, you wanna look right directly in the camera? Look, look right over here, Beanie. Can we get a little beanie mouth? <laughs> get in beanie's chair. Go. Go. Good boy. <laughs> you 
Yes, good boy. <laughs> on the nails. Okay, we've had this on since last Saturday. I'm I'm really I'm having some feels about taking this off. <laughs> hey caters. Yeah, he's just settle on down, Benny. Yeah, I know. You's a sweet, sweet boy. Yes, the softest great boy you are. You just settle down. Oh, thank you, Trey Lala. Yeah, this this is why stream is late because I was finishing these up and I wasn't sure like how long it was gonna take me. Um, and I'm pretty pleased with them. I might have like a little bit more work to do in the back, but I don't think I have any like gaping holes <laughs> so far. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, Athelus, <laughs> I did. I, I think they look pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with them. And they're like, really, they're quite long. They're like... So, it's been a while since I've had like longer braids. And I don't know if I've ever had any quite this long. So, they're not... I mean, they're, I mean they, they were easy. They're just crochet braids. Oh, we need to put this away. Where's the... Oh, here it is. <laughs> The hardest part for me, I'm a, I'm not a great corn rower, so sometimes that's like the longest part for me, especially if I like, you, know, you do one and then you're like, that's a piece of shit, I need to take it out and do it again, but the braiding actually went fairly well. It's one of the things, when I mentioned, I think I mentioned in Discord, like, the fair was supposed to be Monday and we didn't go because it was raining all day and that literally threw off my whole rest of my week, like... Fair day one was supposed to be Monday so that fair day two could be Wednesday. So there's like a rest day in between. And then hair day was supposed to be Thursday and then like regular after that. Well, we didn't go to the fair Monday. So fair day one was Tuesday. I thought about going Wednesday, but I was just exhausted. So fair day two was Thursday. And then I didn't start the hair until like yesterday and had to go to my uncle's house still. And yeah, I've done, I've done twists before Miss Marshmoo and, um, what were those things called cubic braids they're like a four a four strand braid and uh faux locks yeah and it's like they don't have to be great in the back which is great like the ones in the front like you know you want like that to be like a nice a nice part but yeah these are a little smaller than i usually go and like a lot longer but i think i like them they're I mean, they're taking some getting used to them I mean, it's been a while since i had anything to, like swing around <laughs> but I wanted to get them in and done and out of the way because next weekend is going to be busy next weekend we probably will switch the nail stream to Sunday because next Monday um, is my trip so that's part of the reason why I did the braids thank you for the host Basenji Amethyst or Sun could you okay I want another piece of Okay, so if we're going to replace the magnetic polish... I'm sorry, that's probably super loud. This is my last... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. I just got sour... Sour cake coating inside the grass cut. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Oh, it stings. <laughs> Why? Why did I touch it with that hand? I should have just gripped it through the plastic. I'm dumb. I'm super dumb. Officially. Why is my computer running so high? Hold on here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's okay. I guess that's okay. Okay. <sighs> it looks even angrier now. It's like... Okay. 
What time is it? It's 4.30. Okay, the other consideration is it's race night. Presumably. And if I'm going to race, then I can't, like, get into anything. It's going to be, like, taking a long-ass time. Maybe. Okay, so. Hey, DBD. Wild Classic. Wild Classic has been uh, distracting a lot of people. Like, I I have an idea... Okay, so so here's one of my thoughts, you guys. I, we have to start thinking October. We have to start thinking October because I have enough nail art already recorded to take us through September, probably and then some. Because I'm behind on editing because I suck as a creator. No, that's not true. I just, I really, I enjoy like this so much more than like, editing the actual tutorial but like six inches that's a lot Anne. so we have to start brainstorming for like halloween stuff um i want to do a depression awareness tutorial which i always do which is green and i think this year i also want to do a breast cancer awareness design which is pink which I don't usually do but which is hitting a little closer to home this year than usual so I kind of want to do something pink too so those are our three October themes not really themes I'm probably I'm only, I mean I'm not going to do multiple breast cancer depression manicures so one green one pink and then something Halloweeny which like I don't I mean like I'd like to do something possibly using the googly eyes um I would possibly like to um you know like a lot of times if you're not just going orange and black then you get like uh green and purple in the mix for Halloween so I was thinking, ooh, where, where is it? This isn't it. I was thinking, where is it? Um, that, this purple, this, this shimmery kind of holographic purple powder. Like, I was thinking I could, like, do, do, like, a marble and then, like, have accent lines of that going through it. That's a thought. Um, also thought about doing like a, uh, nail foil strip, um, jack-o'-lantern, like with the new orange foils, or with the other, did the other colors also have an orange? Um, well, phone don't fall. Excuse me, Benny. Sorry. Sorry to use your chair. Where is it? Oh, it's way down there. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, like, this finish might be nice, but there's not an orange in this finish. There's just, like, this kind of peachy color. So if we did, like, a, a stripes jack-o'-lantern, it would be with, like this and then like we either could cut out a little face of the black or we could freehand the black or we could just like say it's just pumpkin inspired wait a minute i missed something i missed several things They gave your name to somebody else, son. <laughs> Hollow Knight is a great way to go for Halloween. I, I did Grim last Halloween. Yeah. 
I was, I was, I had mixed feelings on that manicure. And then there's also some things, oh, that would actually, like when I was editing um, and posting the, uh, the Purple Hollow Honeycomb, which went up on, I forget what day. I was looking again at the scale work we were doing. Ugh, there's beanie hair stuck to all the exposed sticky parts. Like this section right here. Oh my God, it's impossible. Camera, camera can't handle the, sh the sparkle. I was thinking, like, I don't know. If I, doing that like in a mermaid design could maybe be Halloween, but I kind of was wanting to do it in like a koi fish design. Would that still be Halloween? Does anybody actually dress up as a koi fish for Halloween? Like to do this, I wish the camera would. What if, what if I cover up most of the sparkle? It's focusing on my hand. Focusing on the miracle mat. Just focus on the card. I I have orange, black, and silver glitter that I could use to make this like overlapping pattern. Yes. I think that would be super cool. Oh, that might also work. That might get like more complicated though, depending, like if you wanted to fit a full face on each nail, if you wanted to do it by lining up like that, you'd need like, I'm visualizing, I think you'd probably need at least like seven strips wide per nail. If you didn't want the eyes like all the way at the side of the nail, cause you'd want like a strip in the middle separating them. And then you'd want like two strips to come together to form an eyeball. And then uh, below it, if you wanted the mouth on the same, mm, I would be more inclined to do like layers of. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of like a staggered radiant. Or I could just do like a whole bunch of things with foils just to. Actually, which which one of these was it that was? So like, we have a few foils that are gradients. We could actually do a staggered gradient with foils. Or a reciprocal gradient with foils. This one is probably showing the most. This one's quite pretty too. Like pink, purple, and blue. Hmm. There's just like too many ideas, you guys. Are there some... There's some in here too, but they're like the other, they're gradienting the other direction. Oh, this is the one that just is impossible. Ooh, look at this one. Is that, that's not straight though. It's on an angle. It's at a dagnabbit. Like this one has the stripes going, going that way. Ooh, candy corn and foil. Hmm. See, I feel like, again, though, I'd want to use, like, these, and I don't have an orange of this. This is the only orange that I have, I think. Yeah. Whoa. Somebody walking down our block? Y'all hear Clark? 
Yeah, that's the only orange. Would we want would we want to make a candy corn shaped or would we just want to do candy corn stripes? Yeah. Or something that's more just like fun and kind of Halloweeny, but not like Halla freaking weenie. Clark, be quiet. I mean, or I say just screw that and just like continue on with normal nail art. <laughs> Uh, my in whoops my indecision is just too real sorry Benny mm. Ooh. I'm now I'm now I'm just picturing all kinds of different things with foils I'm like so distracted by the foils and I don't even know if I want to do foils today Or a leaf blows, yeah. Yeah, I like the ombre one too. And I, I really quite like the idea of doing a, like a stagger with that, but I wonder how obvious it would be. I also still just like... Like my old original idea of just like cutting some of these up in a bunch of like small triangles and just like placing them together like like a stained glass. But then I'm also thinking things like, oh, just like so many things. Like there's so many like colors that catch my eye together when I just gl like glimpse at them. Mm. you know like like this this tealy blue and the regular blue and maybe both of the greens or maybe just the one green of course that's different see like and then i get caught up in the patterns because these patterns are not exactly the same Ooh, that's actually a decent angle you can see some of them are like round and then like see the green and the red they're like slightly shattery but not as chunky as those other ones uh ooh, there we go see how the green is not circular and see how the lighter turquoise is round but not in the same pattern as like some of this other stuff <sighs> maybe I should just straight up do just a foil manicure just to like do it with the 99% alcohol I mean if I were going to pick just one probably it would be one of the ombre ones some of these are cool too the short ones still irk me though I forgot to go leave a review see how short that one is Compared to the ones right next to it. Mm. These are really pretty too. Yeah. It is race night. It's race night. The oil slick ones I think it's between we wouldn't we wouldn't do just a plain color that's where I put the gel polishes <laughs> top row this, this top or this top this top Second from right, my right or your right? If I'm like from your view, I think you mean this one. But from my view, it would be this one, which is just a plain green. So you must mean this one. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually super not helpful in this instance, isn't it? So this, it also, it's like slightly duochrome, so it's like hard to see. Like I look at what I see in the monitor and I look at my hands and it's uh, two different things. It's kind of almost like a digitized oil slick. Oh, you know what else I bought at the fair? Some nail things. This is really not easy to see the design. It's like purple and blue, like, uh, uh, I almost want to say like pixelated. Ugh, get back in there. Okay, we're just going to do like that. I think we need to use this one, you guys. <gasps> I almost dropped it. I didn't, but I almost did. Yellow at the cuticle? Yellow at the tip, yellow at the cuticle. Okay. Um, let's move these over here. Is this gonna be big enough? I don't think it is. Where's my slightly larger? Oh, dang it, I'm wearing the pants that are so long they get caught in my chair. Um, I think we can use this one. Yeah, yes, yes. Ooh, there. <coughs> you can see the, the pixelated. Okay, let's put these. Did I really, was there really any difference between my... Like if we're gonna be going like fingers width, like usually what I'll do for like a foil or something like this is to try and like, you know, imaginarily line my nails up next to each other, kinda, to measure. So let's call it till about right here. Cause you don't wanna be dealing with a whole bunch of extra. <laughs> Did it really? <laughs> I think, I think yellow with the cuticle. Yeah. I think so. Um, oh, I'm going to need to. Well, hmm. how long is this cord? Will this reach all the way over here? No. No, it won't. <laughs> okay. It's it's just going to have to sit right there. Let's uh Do I want to do these all at once? I'm I'm just thinking of as far as the cleaning. Like, I don't want to touch them a whole bunch once they're cleaned, but I kind of feel like cleaning them in, like, two larger strips would be easier than cleaning them in ten individual strips. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's a couple little... We'll try to avoid those. 
Should I use a black base or a white base, do you guys think? Probably a black base again. Hmm. Actually, let's turn this like this. Just setting up my uh, tutorial camera. <clears throat> do I need a little bit more here? I do. It's kind of evaporated. Whoopsie. Dribbles. Do I need to wipe this up? How quickly is this going to evaporate? Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Let's get a clean paper towel background. Okay. Uh, probably going to need some more Q-tips. Restock my little small dish here. Okay. Oh, this is done. Charging. Let's take that out of there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do like that. <clears throat> Before I get started, I'm going to take my foils and clean the backing and then cut them into nail size strips. And today to clean the backing, I'm using 99% isopropyl alcohol and doing this step just helps them to transfer onto the nail a little easier. Yeah, I think having just like two <laughs> Long pieces. I can hold on to it. This barely has any uh, barely has any on it. I'm not seeing a lot of residue on the Q tip. So, this is going to need to be each of these in five slices, like a thumb size, like the thumb is going to be the biggest one. Whoa. So as long as all the others are at least that wide, we should be good. Oh yeah, we've got plenty here. And cut this one about in half. Sorry. Sorry, I was paying attention to the other camera, <laughs> which doesn't really help you guys. Yeah, it's just got a little bit of residue still coming off the back, or wetness coming off the back from cleaning the residue, I should say. So, oh. Oh. 
There. That should be good. That one actually turned out to be the widest one there. Switch this like that. Oops. And I'm trying to be careful with them. Like, number one, not to get, like, finger oils or anything weird on them after cleaning them. But also because you don't want to, like, crinkle your foils or anything because then they can get, like, weird to where they don't want to transfer or where they actually do get a hole in them. I wonder, probably not. Ooh, maybe. A little bit of flashlight action. I mean, so you guys can see the hollow, like a little bit here. Shnoom, shnoom. Okay, so those are done. We'll just set them to the side, make sure they're dry, dry, dry. Is this enough? Four, five, six, seven. It is not. BRB. Um. Cotton for removal. Um. Yeah, we'll just use a regular polish remover. Actually, you guys probably don't need to be quite this close at this particular moment, do you? Do you know? Oh no! <laughs> That's never good. You get it and it's like way, way too intense. So I'm just gonna be like saturating and then sticking like meow. Okay, so like this shouldn't really take too long, question mark. I guess we'll kind of see. Cause like we won't have to wait for drying cause we're gonna be curing. It'll just depend on whether these foils cooperate for us. Mmm. Yeah, I only like the kind of margaritas that come with sugar on the rim instead of salt. <laughs> the sweet kind. I'm just gonna go ahead and do both my. Ooh! Both my hands. Oh my god, y'all know what just happened there. You got, yeah, I know you know. I know most of you have felt this feeling of polish remover entering into your body through a wound. Yes, it feels just as awkward as that sounded. <laughs> I mean, I'm not generally likely to get a margarita in any case. I know it's, you know, you know what also is probably part of the problem here, you guys. I mean, honestly, I can admit it. I'm sad. I don't have any peelies of this. I'm super sad. Like, it's literally gone forever. Pictures, yeah, whatever. They don't do this justice. Oreo banana split shake sounds, sounds, sounds fresh, gosh. That was an interesting sound. This is true music, gal. But like, really? <laughs> I know I probably won't. Maybe I will. Okay, so we're gonna sit here for a minute. Like the Grinch. Let that work. I mean, we've got six layers on here. Base coat. One coat black, two coats of magnetic, flaky, uh, and t such feet. I, I've considered, oh, oh got it, oh. just, <laughs> um, like I've, I, I even considered like on this one, like, well, maybe I can get away with just like maybe one of my ring fingers with the peel off base coat so I can get a good peely. 
Like, pick the fingers that are least likely to have a peely under normal circumstances. I wonder, we might need a little bit more here. I feel like they're not quite ready to come off and they're starting to dry. What I might do is we'll get our little, oh, it's so dirty. I shouldn't even put it on camera. Put a little bit in there. And then we're gonna just do like this. And add a little bit of actual 100% acetone on there and just soak it up. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of stumped on dinner. Like being at the fair, you're so spoiled because literally you can have like anything your heart practically desires. Somewhere at the fair, it's probably sold. I'm going to, it's 5.02. I'm going to try to wait until 5.03 to start taking these off. I keep looking at myself in the camera and like, <laughs> who is she? <laughs> we have a couple of those around here. We also have, what's this place? It keeps popping up. It keeps just like appearing buildings like in parking lots where there didn't used to be like a, a restaurant uh portillo's does anybody know about portillo's should i be going there i mean i don't really do fast food period anyway but every now and then okay let's see uh i'd classify that as an eh result a little bit more more on the acetone side um there it is my my convenient small container of acetone is empty So again, just kind of like soaking up some extra acetone on the existing cotton. Let it soak another minute or so. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, I haven't. There's at least two that are newish around here. I haven't been there yet, but okay, patient, patient, patient. I'm not very good at being, well, sometimes I am just like right now. I'm not, let's see. Should have been more patient. Now I got to scrub a little. yeah well that was so their burgers everything the little other stuff is good too not just the hot dogs yeah usually i don't know usually for regular manicures regular is fine for me but with this many layers i probably should have known there we go. I'm going to need one extra one just to clean up. A lot of times I'm only using it like for whatever the peel off doesn't quite catch. Hey Angie. Welcome on in. We are removing a very beautiful manicure. In order to put on a hopefully equally beautiful manicure. That one just does not want to come off. Well, the plan 
involves nail foils. And I hope they come out as cool as they're currently looking. I'm really going to have to be mindful too when I'm placing them. I mean, I don't want to try and trim them to nail length before I start, but they're definitely longer than my nails are right now. So we need to kind of make sure to keep the green in the center of each nail. Part of it, I think, is just that the polish is so thick that it's just like... Not wanting to stay even on the freaking Q-tip. <clears throat> the only thing I don't like about acetone is how it's like, it just instantly dries you. And like, the 100%. The and... Most of the time, like I said, the regular kind is fine. But when it's not, it's like, well, so impatient. Um, let's just, whoa. Wrap these up in here for now. Toss them a little later. Get a little bit more. No, it, it's not that. It's more just like on camera, aesthetically speaking. I don't think it looks very nice. Especially like if I, of course, I probably actually will take a trip to downstairs before I start streaming. If I don't have a, a chance to like rinse my hands or something before I start. And then I'm looking all ashy on, on camera. On tutorial. So just giving it a final couple little... Time for the dish lurk. So, are my cuticles in dire straits here? Or can we just like do a complete, can we completely ignore my cuticles today? I just feel a little bit guilty when I do that, but we are on a deadline. I should have asked Ash when she was here what Pancakes was planning for our evening shenanigans. Mm. God, I'm trying to keep this stuff away from this grass cut. Is not as easy as I would think. Oh, well, I, I mean, I didn't want to presume that you were still here. Hey, Ash, what's Pancake's got planned for us? He doesn't know. Well, he's fucking better decide. I mean, I suppose we could have a bye week or something. Um... Another stress line. Like this nail hasn't broken, but it has three stress lines in it. That one's enough to get cotton caught on it. I think a shake is an excellent race night festivity beverage of choice. Either pre or post adult beverage or instead of adult beverage. Um, okay. Okay, let's... Do just a quick where's where's my tool okay sorry I'm off camera I know it's just too awkward just to do a quick under try and get some of this black polish out oh we lost a little tiny corner on this nail fuck 
When did that happen? It just happened now? I didn't notice it while I had the manicure on. It's uh, one of my kind of problem nails. See that little, little tiny corner break? Like just like right. Nah. <laughs> okay. I didn't have time to watch uh, Christine's new video today, but I saw it was on her phone that she had been posting the number of on Twitter. <laughs> so I can only imagine. What kind of viewer calls, viewer calls, fan calls they got with that? I mean, it's cool that it's hollow, but unless it's like everything proof you're still gonna put a case on it aren't you and then you won't be able to see the hollow just buy a cheap phone and buy a hollow case okay should i leave my cuticles alone you guys they're actually not horrible I mean, the right hand has a little couple issues because it's the right hand. But, like, it's actually not horrible. Yeah, my, I mean, my phone is so old, like, I really, I need a new phone. I do, like, shit doesn't work on my phone anymore. I was thinking about doing it before my trip, but then, like, I don't know, I haven't now. It's, like, only a week to my trip, and now I'm like, oh, I probably, that probably won't happen. And then I'll get to the airport, and I'll be irritated once again that the fucking airport apps don't work on my phone because my phone's too old. And then I'll come back and be like, you know, I really should get a new phone, and then I'll probably postpone it for a couple more months. Obviously, I couldn't resist giving my cuticles just, like, a little bit of... <laughs> so my my phone for reference is a galaxy s4 it has been my first and only cell phone and it is very elderly <laughs> i uh i got it a little sd of ram and a battery a while ago and that extended its life by quite a bit but it's it's barely hanging in there and like new phones disgust me because like none of the new phones have like replaceable batteries. That just seems like such a poor idea. Like why would you take that away from me? I guess most people just don't keep their phones long enough for that to ever be an issue. But I mean that in itself is an issue. I mean that just is so freaking wasteful to me. Like to upgrade just for the fucking sake of upgrading. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm not quite of the cell phone. I don't know if I want to call it the cell phone generation, but like, I really enjoy my phone. I wouldn't want to be without my phone or whatever, but I'm also like, not that into my phone at the same time. <laughs> like my phone is always silent. There are no like audible alerts on it. Um stuff like that okay <clears throat> yeah well it's I mean it works fine <laughs> Oh, 
Like I can't, I can't upgrade the operating system because there's not enough memory on the system. Like I've moved everything I can to the, to the memory card, the flash card, whatever the fuck it's called. And there's still not enough room to actually perform the system update. So I can't update that. And so like, I can't watch videos on Twitter. They don't show up properly. The air, the airline apps don't work anymore. That's been the last year or maybe two. Um, and just stuff like that. Like Twitch, I can't, I can't use the latest Twitch app. I've got a, a, well, at this point, it's probably several, several versions ago. Like, when I got to the version that broke it, I went and figured out how to how to get an older version, and I haven't upgraded that since, and that was, like, probably at least a year ago, so there's probably been more than a couple changes since then. Um, somebody grilling? Oh, my God. Oh, no, you guys, I'm getting hungry. We're not done with the nails. I, I can't get hungry. Oh my god, it smells delicious. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm not friends with any of my neighbors, so it's not like I can go and ask for, for some of their barbecue, whoever is doing it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, my phone is like, I don't know, it's a convenience. I like it for like having a hotspot for, I have a little Chromebook, which is also extremely elderly they're actually almost the same age and uh that has lasted pretty well until at one point i stepped on it and broke the screen and i actually replaced the screen on it and i was very damn proud of myself i still am and uh, extended the life on that because the screen was only like what 30 i think it was like 30 bucks to get a new screen Okay, I know I'm off camera dealing with a little hangnail here. I'm going to finish these cuticles quickly. I'm trying to like go quickly. Then I'm going to take like an extremely brief bathroom break. And then we're going to come back and do these nail foils. That's the plan. And then I'm going to have a dinner break and then probably possibly nail or nail night, race night. Nail afternoon, race night. There we go. Yeah, the, I mean, and sometimes, like, like my computer is fairly elderly, too. But it's still in much closer to working order than either the Chromebook or my phone. I think because, you know, I built it with an eye toward video editing and stuff, so I went uh, a little more high-end than maybe a lot of casual computer users would um i think is why it's still good enough to let me stream do the streaming thing stream this is apparently sign language for streaming um you know nails and i mean i'm more especially impressed when it's doing games and streaming at the same time and and doing it pretty dang well hey angel Welcome on in. No, no buzz saws. I'm sad to tell you. These the uh, the sharp blade of the uh, cuticle scraper is as close as you're gonna give her right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I suppose, like, it voids the warranty or whatever, but if it's already, like, out of warranty or if otherwise it's trash, why not? Um, I know, like, I think I might have mentioned this before, like, I have a area scale, one of Fitbit's things, and it, like, seemed like it stopped working, like, it's digital and it would just keep giving me this error message and I was trying to work with their support and it's like, I knew it was out of warranty, I was just looking for, like, a tip or something and they're like, well... You know, you'll have to see what landfill you could take that to or whatever. Please buy an area too. I'm like, are you? No. So I went on YouTube and I found this guy showing you how to like crack it open and get in there and fuck around with shit and I fixed it. I'm not like a handy person, but I, I get quite tickled when I'm able to fix some shit that I thought was broken. 
a buzzsaw song and it was good um <coughs> excuse me you guys need to be drinking more water um i'm going to find you guys some music i'm going to put up the brb um my, 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 my music oops no not holiday music <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try and be real quick, you guys. And when we get back, ooh, when we get back, this is going to happen. This is what's going to happen. Let's leave it like that. It looks cool like that. Um. So, yeah, as usual, Kevin McLeod, Unwritten Return. Thank you in advance for your patience. If you need your own break, now's the time, etc. BRB.
Thank you for your patience, everybody. Um, I think before we get started. I want a piece of this. So get me through the manicure. All right. Black base or white base? Or do you think it doesn't matter? Because we're going to cover it up. I don't think I want to like skip a base color because the Madame Glam peel off base coat doesn't seem to do too well with super thin layers. Hmm. For some reason, I feel kind of like white. So I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's... A little bit more acetone in my dish. I really need to refill up my smaller, my smaller bottle. Um, it's kind of in the way. Let's move this over here. And move this over here and move this over here. Okay. So, we'll start out quick swipe down. Make sure nails are clean and dry before we move on to the base coat. You can also use alcohol for this step if you want. In fact, the 99% alcohol is probably real good for this because it does uh, evaporate faster than the regular 91% alcohol. I'm already thinking ahead to, like I mentioned, to next weekend, which will be my vacation manicure. I'm thinking I might just do the third magnetic and or maybe a hollow and just call it a day and not get too carried away or too fancy with it. I don't know, though. Because the, mag like the magnetics are a huge amount of payoff for a relatively simple manicure. On the other hand, it's, I feel like it's borderline nail art. Mm. And I do like having nail art on when I travel. Cause otherwise sometimes I get bored, although I can't really see myself getting bored with a magnetic. Okay. Mm. Okay. Am I going to want tweezers? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see when we get there. Because <clears throat> I don't have those colors in gel. Karen and I don't have time to wait for regular polish to fully dry before doing it <clears throat> starting off with clean dry nails we're going to begin with a base coat today I'm using Madame Glam's peel off base coat and you can use whichever you prefer I 
I really feel sometimes like I should widen my gel color selection because I really basically only have four colors black and white and purple and pink I don't know if I would like get more of either one of these brands though or if I should like learn about some other gel brands I just don't I just don't know and we'll just do base coat on all the nails even though we're only going to be working like on the first four nails at a time plus I'm not like the thing with with like coordinating your base color with like foils like with the idea that it'll be like less obvious like like even if you have the same colors it's still like you're still gonna see it like maybe it won't be as obvious as like a black base but like the whole point you're using foils is because you don't have polish that looks like that sometimes you can have maybe have a color that comes close I don't know but that's kind of like been my feeling like I remember when I would try to do a gold foil over a regular like with foil glue and I did try to use like a gold base and it just like and I, I needed some camouflage on that because it was a horrible it's like a horrible transfer I'm trying to remember Madame Glam's peel off likes a thicker layer than ready for takeoff so I'm trying to be mindfully generous on the base coat and also keep it pretty thin so yeah my mind is still like as I'm sitting here waiting for this to dry my mind is still going back to like what other October plans I need to make or that I should have or like what I want to do for the particular things like for the green I don't know I've done I've done a green manicure pretty much every year for depression awareness so like I think I've done Oh, you know what we could do? We could do just all, all green foils something. Either like a placement or just like a, like a, I want to call it like a splatter almost more like what we did for uh, 4th of July. Hmm that's worth pursuing the pink on the other hand like I've only done a handful of uh, breast cancer awareness manicure so it's like I have the opposite problem like what do I want to do I, I kind of want to do for something or maybe that would be good for like actually with Halloween colors Ooh, like with a black and an orange uh, music gal did a uh, drip marble the other week like was that last weekend and uh camera please like it looked so good I was like I need to do a drip marble like I need to do a good drip marble with lots of uh contrast those look so good musical I, I just really loved them I was like oh I guess everything I want a drip marble would be the little wiggles all that was just like it was really good. And part of it too, I mean, it's not just like making a good drip. It's like getting, cutting the decals to get like that good piece. Like there've been several times where I'm like, man, I thought I cut that right, but that's not the part that I should have gone for on my nail. Why didn't I go for this part over here? The last several, like, drip marbles that I've done, I actually have not been, like, super thrilled happy with. Are we... We're almost dry here. 
almost, I want to give it like another, it would actually, I mean, okay, so part of the thing with using this peel off is like, you need to make sure it's dry because otherwise the gel polish is starting not to play nice. So really, I feel like I should wait until like at least like 539 or 540 and it's only 537. Well, we could talk about what else is going to go on this evening. After we finish this manicure, there's going to be a brief intermission for me to have a dinner. And then there's going to be probably some kind of hollow night this evening. Um, Ash said Pancakes hasn't decided what we're doing, but probably it's a race night. If it's not a race night, then I'll do something else. I don't, I don't know what, like 106, 106... 106 and I are are on a little break right now. I think like a part of me wants to like go back to it and stick it to it and another part of me is like nah just like let it go. Leave it alone. Where did I I shouldn't have put that away. Where did I put it? The uh the doe foot. Hello? Oh, here it is. I was going to say, how, how possibly did I lose it? There's actually two. Two that have the doe foot thingy. So, like, there's, there's five, and they're dual-ended, but they're not ten different shapes, you know? There's the this thing, and then it's got the chisely part on the end, and then this one also has the round thing, and this has like an actual pointy thing on the end. These two both have just like straight things, and then this is another pointy thing, and this is like a I don't know what shape you want to call that. And then this one has another chisely thing and the other chisely thing. I think that this one is the, probably the best. I like both those ends. So. Make sure to keep that handy. Um, Do gel polishes separate like regular polish? I never could tell because their bottles are opaque. <laughs> then I'm like, should I have shaken this? Or should, like, let's roll it a little bit. Oops, you're not on. Where did the, did I not get out the, yeah, this too. <clears throat> camera please <clears throat> what is this called perfect white camera please there we go for my base color I'm going to be doing a couple coats of Madame Glam's perfect white curing between each and then once that's applied I'll be adding a layer of my mist cheering gel foil adhesive Oops. All right, man, carefully mindful because it's gel. actually is it oh <laughs> that was the phone this isn't actually too bad of a white although if I recall I prefer the pink gelac white it's acting a little whoops 
They're acting a little bit weird. Get out of there. You know what? Give me a nicer... Yeah, I like this one. There. That's better. Food is on the way. Yay, indeed. Okay. Oops. Okay, just a little bit on the edges. And this cures for... 30 seconds. Oh, okay, that's really far away. <laughs> okay, we're just, we're gonna work like one set of fingers at a time. So in this case, like the four left fingers, because like the regular gel polish leaves the sticky layer which we're not going to be using but if you don't uh i mean like you know there's beanie hairs and all kinds of stuff to get stuck on in here <sighs> hello helicopter how are you today And hopefully this will be opaque on the second coat. I'm not going to super stress if it's not fully opaque. Because you're not going to see most of it. We just want it to be a nice base. Hi there. Welcome back. Did you go eat some food? I hear you like licking your chops over there. Oh no. I hate that type of stuff. It's like, no, it's not what I meant. Don't, don't do that. Where's the confirm button? Are you sure you want to make this change? Always annoying, except for when you actually didn't want to make that change. And you're like, oh my God, thank you computer for saving my life. I really was unsure. Okay, so yeah, like if I was wearing it on its own, probably I would have tried to be like a little bit more careful on the first layer. Can you guys just see like right there, there's like a slightly, like right there, see it? Just a slightly not fully opaque situation. <laughs> I mean, they had good, uh, good intentions at least. And I might give this a little bit of an extra cure because we've had discussions before about it, like not fully, fully curing and how black and white for whatever reason are like more difficult colors to cure. And I know over curing is also like not great, but I think it would be probably preferable to under curing. <laughs> My complete layman's like, well, seems it would be better to be too much than not enough. But I mean, right? <laughs> Also, I might have to like adjust my my camera a little bit. Like my, like usually my camera is like set to encompass like a bunch of hair up here. <laughs> now I'm like, hi. <laughs> mm. 
Some people just ain't got nothing, nothing better to do than be all up in other people's business, Amethyst. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so now... Thin and even. And I think I am going to wrap the tip this time. I'll just have to make sure to wrap the tip even better with the top coat. Because, like, you don't want that to be a place where the foil can, like, get weird. But you also don't want it, like, not adhering to the tip, I've decided. So... going to try and be like so freaking neat and careful here Ooh, got some on my side of my finger there I didn't notice that oops and like I said before any weird bubbles or streaks or anything in this application can lead to weird bubbles or streaks on the foil application so before I stick it under the lamp I'm going to give it like a super good eyeballing so that there's hopefully not anything weird with the finished product Mm. That's too close to my skin. Right. Yeah. Not sure if you guys can even see this. I'm literally just like looking at how the light is reflecting and any little weirdness. Because how else can you... Okay, and at least I did a fairly good job at a thin coat because I did not have to yank my fingers out of the lamp. Which you know we've had to do with this, with this particular stuff before. free flashlights I mean a closet full of flashlights is better than no flashlights right oh wow that looks like gnarly and not as even as I thought <gasps> is it just is it like just doing this as it cures You guys can't, you guys can't see anything in there. Can, can you see there? See those two dimples? Like I can't tell if they're just dimples or if it fully separated and I have no adhesion there. We won't know until we try to stick this on. So just wish me luck here, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where am I moving this to? Like this. <clears throat> Once the adhesive is fully cured, you can move on to applying the foils. I have a little, like, kind of doe foot silicone applicator that I'm going to be using to help me press it down. Can also just use, like, a q tip or something. And these strips are slightly longer than my nail. I'm going to try and get all the colors to show on there. So I'm just going to kind of aim the green for the center and press it down first with just my finger and then start working it in more with the silicone tool. And then once I'm sure that it's nicely pressed down, I'm going to go ahead 
and peel off the plastic. I don't know you guys. I don't know you guys. I sense bad things happening here. Feel very bad things happening here. Or maybe it's okay. Why? Why though? <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I'm so sad. Maybe I need to do more with my finger in the first place. No! We tried so hard. Camera, camera's offended and won't even fuck focus. I'm not... I, I don't know what I want to do here. I'm so sad. Like, should I just go with this and, hey, it's a mess, it's a messy foil look. <laughs> it's so messy and cute. Look how cute and messy it is, you guys. Is it the doe foot? It's, it's raising up in weird places and just making crackle. No, this just is just fucking... I'm, I'm sad face. I'm, I'm super sad face. Like there's stickiness here because there's bean fur sticking to the exposed spots. I mean, what's stuck down looks phenomenal. Like this is worse than the gold. Like, I just, I just don't even know. My nails are just too fucking round. I fucking give up, dude. Fuck you, nail foils! Hi, Bethlar. <laughs> like, it's, it's so close to awesomeness. Camera, please. Please. <sighs> I mean, I know I know it's not in focus and I apologize, but y'all y'all can see the problem here. We have a problem. We have a fucking problem. <sighs> Why though? Like... Did I, I need, I need more of the gel adhesive. It's sticky, but it's like not sticky enough to. <sighs> Literally right now, I'm so angry. I mean, it's possible.
Let, let's try this. This is like not smooth, so I'm gonna use like some white just to like smooth it. <sighs> I'm so irritated. Not wearing this. Mm. Mm. Come on. Oh, nails, I know you don't like this. Weird, okay. That's weird. <sighs> and honestly, I wonder if part of it like, this gel polish does not feel fully cured. I, I think I need to start over curing this even more than I did. This white. Because, like, it's not hard. I mean, it's not wet, but it's not hard. I, I'm I'm really feeling stumped now, you guys. And you know what else? I'm feeling I'm feeling debated for taking off the magnetic. I'm actually feeling debated. All right, we got a little spot of white here. I didn't try to make that one too thick. I just tried to make it light like what was on my nail. I mean, am I really going to have to literally test every single foil out of the pack that I got? That's a lot of foils. That's like 80 foils. Well, I suppose I only have to test the ones that I want to wear. Arg. <laughs> you guys. These little sad fuck a partial peelies. Yeah, they're not. Or my nails, or the adhesive isn't working right, or my nails just hate me for taking off the magnetic, which is also like possible. We're gonna see right now if it's possibly a problem with the foils. Cause like, oh, I'm just so irritated. I mean, I know my nail is not flat like a piece of cardboard. I mean, we know this. I try to take that into consideration. clean transfer I mean I I I think maybe I did too thin of a layer of gel the the gel adhesive 
And I'm, what I'm basing that on is what I saw in the lamp. Because I thought I had made it very even and nice. But under the lamp, like, it fluoresces a slightly different color. And I could see, like, weird things happening on my nail. Like I said, those two pits that, that were visible on my index nail. And there were some other spots, like, around the edges and stuff that just, like, weren't... I wanted to do the thing and now I'm just like uh, oh, I just don't even know I mean we've got we've got peel off base on six fingers I mean can I even get this off yeah I guess I could not like like, it doesn't just want to come off when it doesn't have polish on it, though. This is not my nail, you guys. This is the peel-off. But you see, like... Fucking A, dude. Hey, Dino. We're, we're sad. We're sad pandas. Because this happened. We, we thought we were brilliant. We thought we, we were having going to have just like easy, brilliant, beautiful nails. We thought. We thought. I thought. <sighs> I mean, I started on this. I have to finish at least this one. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... I don't know what to do now, you guys. I just don't even know. It's race night, though, Dino. I need to think of something. I don't. I don't know what to do to fix this. I don't have time to fuck around with it. No foils made me sad. Foils were mean to me. Foils. Foils didn't want to be. Foils didn't want to be part of my life. Camera. Camera! The camera rejects the foils. <laughs> uh, I'm just. I don't know. I'm really unsure. Yeah, I don't. I hate wearing Madame Glam peel off with regular polish. I'm so mad this didn't work, you guys. I thought we had a really cool manicure coming. I thought this was going to be on my nails. <sighs> now my nails are all gross. Ugh. Like all this residue. And I feel like I should peel off my right hand too and start over if I'm going to do a regular manicure. Oh. How can I get the rest of this residue off? Oh, I hate you, Madame Glam. It's only good for with gel polish. As far as I'm concerned. I, I know some people like it with regular polish, but I just have such poor results with it with regular polish. But I don't know about, like, peeling it off, like, with nothing on it either. Because that really didn't, that didn't go too hot. Um, let's see if I can. No, I can't, uh, I don't have enough time for it to dry, Dino, to mix, to mix regular polish and gel. This is actually coming off a bit. Is this soluble with acetone, unlike ready for takeoff? Let's see. Oh, it is. That's weird. 
Well, maybe it's not weird. I mean, I've always thought it was weird that Ready for Takeoff was not soluble with acetone. Um, okay, well, that solves that problem. <sighs> you guys. Maybe I just need to give up on the full, the full foil dream. Maybe I just need to, like, accept that... God, am I out of cotton again? Maybe I just need to accept that foils are only for working on a smaller scale and trying to do it on the full nail is just asking to be disappointed. Like, just, like, literally begging to be disappointed. What are you going to say, Sparkly? Oh. Just as irritating. Yeah, this is really sticky, but it is coming off. I I don't know if even that, like, how how different could their glue possibly be? Like, this adhesive is the best freaking adhesive. I don't think it's the foils. I think my nails are too curvy to ever get a clean transfer. Well, plus, I think I didn't do a very good application this time. But I think, I don't know. I think we're not doing foils today. <sighs> this is like, it's coming off, but it's gross and super sticky. I should have just gone for like a minimalist. I should have just gone for like a stripe of that color down the center of each nail or something. Maybe I could have been able to get away with that. Yeah, it's it's very frustrating because if you're too heavy handed with this foil glue, it's so hot. Like scary hot. Like, oh my God, where did I put on my finger hot? Hmm. You should sparkly. Maybe it will inspire me. I just don't even know. The gold ones turned out better than these. Well, they transferred better. I just don't even know where this stream is headed. We have failed. We have failed. Yeah, the problem I've always had with foil glue is like getting it even, like it doesn't self level. And then you get like streaky looking foils. But maybe streaky is better than patchy. I don't know. I'm so sad, you guys. Like, what could I possibly do that would be this good? And now I'm worried if I will be on time for race night. Like, I wanted to do nail art. I didn't just want to do a manicure. Oh, we've got gel under the edges here. God damn it. That might have to wait until later. God, my nails are so dry now. But you can't sesh feed on top of foil sparkly. Fucks everything just right completely up. Yeah. 
even when I tried it on top of water based, it fucked everything completely up. It's like, nah, fam. You thought. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere around here. Is it one of these? The problem with some of these older tests is that they are not labeled. This half of the purple that's not that's not doing very well. You see this spiral, how you can tell one half is weird and one half is cool. The half that's weird is the half that was sesh veeded on. That sounds that sounds inappropriate. But I I remember that one. There's there's another one too though. I'm not sure where it is. This is true amethyst. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. I, I just, I'm drawing like a complete blank here. I mean, I know I could just like do a regular manicure, but that seems like... Saturday is supposed to always be nail art. Like, I don't, I don't want to neglect my nail art community just because it's also often race night. That Madame Glam gave me a couple little peely spots again. And I do not appreciate it. Can you see like right there? Not like horrible, but like this is the hand I took it off with polish mover and this is the hand that I peeled it off. Yeah, I've done that before with strips, but I don't think I could do that with the whole, with the whole nail. Cause like I said, my nail's too curvy. I couldn't get it to like lay flat in the wet polish before, before curing it. I love the look of the strips done that way. I, uh... I was thinking it would be really sweet to do a rainbow design like that. Now that I am in possession of a rainbow of uh, foils. But like, cause a lot of my nails, I mean, we've got, we've got C curve, of course. We've got, well, this is wonky C curve, but then we've also got like curving this way on some nails. Like some nails, like this nail is pretty straight, but this nail like curves a lot like this way in addition to this way. So we've got, uh, okay, we have, we have to, we have to change directions. And I'm like drawing such a complete blank, 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 blank. Yeah. But then wouldn't it just all like, okay, that sounds so, con it sounds like it actually might work, but it also sounds like it might like, just like glue a piece of saran wrap onto my finger completely. They should really just make freaking, well, I don't know how they would do that. Make them with curves. I've also had somebody tell me that I should just make decals with the foils, which, I mean, you guys know I don't have a very good relationship with decals either. I don't know. 
I I need to just I need to just I need to just I mean yes but also not really like it doesn't stay it's like I mean basically it's like take a little thin piece of paper and try to smoothly fit it to your nail and if you're lucky maybe your nail is just like perfectly even and you can just like shloop like that but if you have any curve this if you have any curve in both directions I think you're gonna have a problem Even, even with the cows, I feel like I would have a problem. But maybe one day we can try the cows. I don't know. All I know is I... Oh, gosh. Hentai lover, hello. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. We're having a sad moment here because I'm, like, wallowing in my, fail, in my failure. But thank you for your support in this time of trials and tribulations. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Oh gosh. What am I going to do, you guys? This gel ball is stuck everywhere now. Uh. Like, I was already indecisive when we started the stream, and then we decided to do foils, and then the foils just, like, full on fucking betrayed me. And now I'm back to where I was at the beginning of the stream, which is, uh, and I feel like I should have just left the magnetic polish on, but it's far, far too late for that. Uh. I feel like I need to just like clear out my mind and like my mind is like re literally fucking refusing. Musical, that makes a scary amount of sense. <laughs> yeah, it does, though. Oh, I'm just like, I don't know. I, sh I mean, should I blow off race night to do nail art? I mean, the, the gates are open again if I decide to do that. I need to, like, just make up my mind. Just make up your mind, forehead. I already took off of what makes me happy. It made me happy for a whole week with no chips. And what did I do? I removed it like a fool with no plan of, of, of recompense. Is that how you pronounce that? Mm. Plus, I feel like I literally just did that and with everything that I have at my disposal within like literally arm's reach like how can I not think of at least like one other whoa this is not closed well that would have been a quick way to make the day even worse spill a bottle of gel polish on my desk Excuse me. I think... Oh. I don't I don't even know. Let's try to pull this out of this bottle. How about that? <laughs> How can I get it out of there, do you think? <laughs> juicy purple polish oh I forgot I got these where did I get these little tweezers they're so long can I just like grab this thing hmm nope I mean I feel like I should be able to just like slurp the whole thing out of the neck it's still like there's like some slightly liquid parts in there I thought I was going to be able to pull it out in one big old wad. 
and then have a moment of pure satisfaction and then be able to make up my mind after that. But this is not going to be pure satisfaction. This is going to be like pulling it out a chunk at a time. I don't know. Maybe people are down for that too. But it's not what I thought. Meh. Not satisfying. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, I think I could continue. It's like pulling stuffing out of a pillow, like a clump at a time. Sometimes smaller clumps, sometimes larger clumps. Man, I wonder if the other one is going to be that difficult. Because I've got a bigger container that still needs to be doing it too. <laughs> the new ASMR shit you really don't want to see. It's been sitting here on my desk for forever. We also got this one, which is dried up right into the neck. You think this one will come out? Oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Did you get the sound on that, you guys? It was like... It sounds so rubbery. I mean, I guess it kind of is basically at this point. <laughs> oh, I'm just like distracting myself willfully now because I don't know what to do on my nails. If I could just get a, like a better grip. It's so thin it keeps ripping. The anti-ASMR. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Whoa. Okay, if I can, like, get this flap off the edge of the thing... Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought that was going to be more audibly satisfactory. Like, it's just, it's in there. I mean, it's loose. I just need to, like, get a grip of it, right? Mm. <laughs> Satisfaction refused. Meh. It's like every time I put it down here... To get a good visual, I get a good sound and a poor visual. And every time I move it toward the mic to get a good sound and a poor visual, it's a good visual and a poor sound. I'm cursed. I'm, I'm still thinking while I'm messing with this also, you guys. I need something with like a hook end.
Like it's <laughs> I think we're gonna have to save the rest of it for another day, you guys. I can't I can't I can't do anymore. Oh <laughs> And this is why I don't get simply peel anymore. Because this is supposed to be my refill bottle. Ooh. Grab it! <gasps> ew! Okay, ew. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I thought a chunk was gonna come out and it's like... <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> now my desk just smells like this. Okay, BRB. Not gonna ball that up and leave it on my desk. Throwing it actually in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, the Cindy, that's a good one. Is that from the food fight? <sighs> okay. Okay. Um. Splooty Pugers. Yeah, I'm at this. Oh, where's Doc? Where's Doc when we have the grossest of Splooty Pugers? Okay. What do we have accessible? We've got color clubs. We've got Zoya's. We've got it's six thirty. Fucking a. Let's let's like I really want something I can just like kind of slap on and be done. At this point, I guess. Let's get the rest of this residue off of here. I'm gonna lay down some ready for takeoff. I'm gonna say uncle on nail art and admit that it's not happening, even though it makes me sad. I mean, that would be good. It cer I mean, there'd be nothing wrong with that, certainly. It just seems boring. I mean, I I hope you, I feel, I feel bad. You guys came here for nail art, and I'm not producing any goddamn nail art. I haven't streamed since last weekend, and now I'm streaming, and it's like bogus. That's how I feel right now. I just can't believe that the foils did me dirty like that. Like, am I really going to have to slather on the adhesive to such a layer that I practically burn my fingertips off in order to have it be sticky enough? Because I'm not down with that, TBH. Well, Sparkly, if you put it that way, then I feel less bad and I do appreciate it. Where is it? Let's get a new non fucking latex pissed on paper towel latex piss for all your gross out needs um where's the regular alright 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 regular ready for takeoff regular ready for takeoff Excuse me also. If that little burp was audible. <laughs> if the microphone picked that up. Okay, and remember, we're not using Madame Glam. We want a thin coat of ready for takeoff. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, that's that's really honestly the way I feel also, Karen. I just... Like, okay, so the gold ones... The gold ones are the closest we've come to success. Those of you who were here for, for the gold uh, burst design... Uh, if you haven't seen that one, it is actually edited and up on YouTube. And we got this phenomenal transfer. And our downfall in that one is that we cleaned with 91% alcohol and the top coat dulled the finish. I, I don't know if I want to say drastically. I kind of do want to say drastically, but then I'm like, was it really that drastic? Um... Dulled the top, dulled the finish a lot. So I thought, well, fuck, all I need to do is exactly that, except not use the 91% alcohol, except apparently not. Because I remember being careful with that because when we did the, the red, white, and blue ones for the 4th of July, where our problem was that we didn't clean off the foils at all, but we had good adhesion, but the shit was hot, so we tried to use less, so apparently the correct amount is somewhere between too much and not enough boy i'm smart i'm smart with that one. <laughs> oh my god mm. the dirty details the blooper reel the 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 fail the fail fail after fail fail stream it's not a live stream it's a fail stream okay Let's just, I think, who said it? Trey? Trey? Trey is probably right. Purple. Purple is best, right? Purple is always best. So... Let's just find a really good purple and then stick some hollow on top of it. And call it a day. Okay, I'm thinking either that one or that one. This is, is Delaney actually slightly multi-chrome? Slightly. Yeah, well, I mean, the boxes never tell you to clean off the back. But, you know, I should I should have had a test on that little strip that has the acetone and the alcohol and the 99%. We should have had a test with no cleaning. Because that's what we decided we did wrong on the 4th of July one, and it turned from being individual burst into being, like, more random. A snack foil pack. Oh no, who's lost their label? You did. Zoya's, why you always lose your label? Poor Midori. Midori's very pretty too. Hmm. What's this, Ray? I mean, Ray's not purple, but. I'm, I'm kind of feeling Ray. I'm only like one drawer in and I already can't even just pick like one color. <coughs> oh, excuse me. What is this, Subi? Ray is kind of a lot like Subi. Not quite as green. You know what? I know we were just talking purple, but I think we're going with Ray. We're going to go with Ray. I almost would go for Suvi, except I know that Suvi is so fucking thin. Camera, please. Camera. there is that good okay zoya ray boy you look almost black on camera 
there. It's a very deep dark green. Now, I, as much as I love like teal or turquoise and purple together, I'm not a huge fan of green and purple together. All right, so let's see if we can paint our nails quickly. We'll basically be moving from one right into the next. One coat right into the next, I mean. Ray, I hope you are fully opaque in two coats. I picked you because I thought you were better than Suvi and you're feeling kind of thin. This is true. I don't think this is going to turn out very emerald, though, if it actually gets opaque as it should be on the second coat. It's going to be really dark. Like my soul and my heart after being betrayed by nail foils. Uh. Boy, it's super, super dark on camera. Um, We're going to do this with, with hollow on top. We're going to do a purple, and then I came across Ray, and I decided that Ray spoke to me, and Ray is going on my nails, with probably a linear hollow on top. I think you were you were here when the nail foils failed, Musical, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a long time ago at this point, because I spent a half an hour fucking around and being sad, when I should have been just like... I don't know. I should always have some sort of emergency backup plan for stream for if things just don't go according to plan. But I already, I mean, I didn't have a plan. So how am I supposed to have a backup plan when I don't even have a plan plan? So since we're not doing nail art today, sometime during the week, We'll do nail art for sure. Instead of just like a plain midweek mani, we'll have a plain we'll have a plain Saturday mani, and we'll have midweek mail midweek blah, 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 blah. midweek nail art. I don't know if I've ever worn this on its own or not. I mean, I've got tons of colors that I haven't worn on their own for sure. Okay, that darkened up and op opaqued up quite nicely on the second coat. There, you can see a little bit more of the green. It's still that green, it's just really dark. Yeah, it's it could very well be the darkest part of the watermelon rind. It's, I mean, it's, it's almost black. Almost, but not quite. And I feel like really, probably two additional thin coats instead of one kind of glommed coat would be the way to go. But we can't do that. Because we're trying to go fast. Hopefully trying to go fast doesn't make us go slow by fucking up. <clears throat> yeah, no E, just Ray. Right. <laughs> Now, butt spot. That was so close to being a perfect buttification. <laughs> if he'd only said that she loves butts, that would have just been too perfect. Oh, 
God, you just, the green just hides. Well, you guys can see it on the initial, whoop, on the initial coat. Just to picture that, but dark. And actually, maybe the hollow will make it pop out again. More green. God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I know you guys said it was fine, but I'm so sorry. I feel bad. I feel like I have not been doing very good streams lately. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too much in my feelings and in my head. I honestly have been kind of anxious the past week. Possibly because I haven't been streaming very much. Because streaming usually actually revs me down a little bit. I was still able to enjoy the fair. Because the fair is just always good. But uh, I have been like aware of it. But then when I do stream, like, and then it's, like, not a good stream, it's like, ah. Uh, feels bad, man. But at least our nails won't be naked. I'll have to see. I'm really, I have to, I have to figure out, like, details. I have to make sure I'm actually, like, ready and don't need anything. Like, I need to go out and get. Like, I usually travel pretty light. Like, I don't take anything more than, like, a carry-on. But, I don't know. Making sure I have appropriate amounts of prescriptions and just, you know, that type of shit. Okay. Super dark green accomplished. Oh, you guys. <laughs> the nail polish speed run. Mm. Oh, thank you, you guys. All you guys. Oh, I feel like I don't deserve you guys. You guys are such good chat. Good community. Good people. Just fucking overall in general. Like, I don't even deserve you guys. But I'm, I'm glad that even when I'm not, like, being phenomenal, that I can at least be entertaining. <laughs> I'd prefer to be entertaining and phenomenal, though, you know? That'd be great. So I'm gonna... I'm just cleaning up here, like, any little small issues because I'm gonna try and be very even applying the linear and I don't want to like have any drag marks or anything when I apply it. Yeah, and that's like one of the things too, like it's like, you know, the, I like brought you guys, you guys are not just a community, you guys are my community and then like I brought you guys together and that's kind of like a wow moment. Like I really, I mean I've said it before, like, that's the main thing about streaming. Is, like, the, the community and the interaction. I mean, like, if I... Okay, like, just imagine me, like, by myself, fucking up like this. Like, how much rage and salt there would be. There probably wouldn't even be, like, a manicure. I'd probably just, like, give up. So you guys keep me going, and I appreciate that. And you guys encourage me, and I appreciate that. And you guys bring me up when I'm feeling down, and I appreciate that. And just generally speaking... I appreciate you guys a ton. <sighs> I don't mean to get all maudlin and in my feelings, but like seriously. I, uh, I feel like very susceptible to mood changes at the best of times. And the worst of times. And the best moods and the worst moods, so... <laughs> I just I really just can't believe the, okay I'm not talking about the foils anymore fuck the nail foils right now just just fuck them right in the eye well that would be awkward 
fuck them in a general sense of fucking. That that also sounds. You know what? Never mind. Just leave the nail foils alone. Maybe it wasn't the nail foils' fault. Fuck the foil gel. No, let's just not fuck anybody. Let's just try everybody again later. <laughs> oh my god, I'm losing my shit. I am literally losing my shit here. Some days be like that, yo. <sighs> I did miss you guys. I really did. It felt super weird not streaming all week. Like I said, I really it did it, it did not. It wasn't like, oh man, what a nice break from streaming. It was like, man, I wish I had time to stream. I wish I had energy to stream. I really was planning on streaming Wednesday and then like I fell asleep. I was so exhausted. It was one of the nights when Bean did not think I needed to sleep. He thought that I just needed to stay up all night listening to him bounce off the walls. Like literally, like he'll come tearing into the room in the middle of the night or the, you know, crack of dawn in the morning. And I'll hear him like bounce off of my desk chair, like jump in it and then jump off against the back and then like, you know, how cats do. <laughs> this is true, Karen. One of those uh, can't have can't have light without a little darkness, as I believe Bob would say. <laughs> I'm gonna order I'm gonna order me some dollar nail foil glue well, and some of their foils. One day sparkly I am. <sighs> Fuck there's a little fuzz. Get out of there. Get out of there, little fuzzy. <clears throat> okay. Almost cleaned up. Then we'll do hollow, then we'll do top coat, then we'll Take a break for dinner. <sighs> Hopefully I can find myself some easy dinner. And uh, then I will be back. I'm doing something. Is Ash, are you still here? Is Pancake still deciding? Or is there a post for me to see when I check Discord? I feel like I this has too much of a gap now. Poor little right thumb. Your gap is too large. Okay. Ritual jello shots. <laughs> oh, virtual. I was gonna say, turning the jello shot into a ritual. <laughs> All right, so, um, there we go. Hello, taco. Linear. Uh, gonna try and keep this even. You guys can't even see that. I'm sorry. I'm just apologizing all over, but I'm sorry. <gasps> Camera taking pity on me. Okay, so like down here, this is actually kind of a great example because down here you basically almost can't even see it. You're still seeing so much of the base color through it. All that's going to be rainbows in the correct light. <laughs> Alright, okay. And I'm trying to like be careful and not like... You know, have an uneven hollow application. And still wrap the tips. Because I feel like I used to be very not serious about, like, wrapping the tips. 
but I really do think it helps. And if you can do like the whole entire base, like we discussed last time, then you're really in business Get off of there. Okay. I'll give you guys some flashlight time. <laughs> like phone flashlight time, not flashlight that I'm always displeased with time. And of course, trying to keep it similar between the hands, a similar level of coverage. And I don't think Ash answered me, so I'm going to have to check in Discord myself. Because I don't think you guys can see the secret race organization channel if you're not a racer. Mm. Ooh, that was almost kind of, kind of a lopsided application there. I think I saved it. Oh, so there's a thing going on right now. It's called the food fight. And if you cheer at least 200 bits in a channel, you unlock two emojis for yourself or emotes or whatever you want to call them. And you unlock some for people in chat too, like more the more you cheer. And it goes through September 2nd. And if you, uh, apparently the top five are going to be allowed to be kept. Like, I don't know how they're going to like have people vote on that or whatever. But yeah, um, like if you if you click on the bits thingy and then there's like a thingy above it and then there's like a learn more. If 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 my explanation was not particularly informative, but I mean like that's the gist of it. I like it when they do extra bits things. Um, where where is my sesh feet? Is what I'm looking for here. Oh, there it is. Um, this one doesn't seem like it was going for very long though. So like, I don't, I ha I feel like I haven't even had the chance. I haven't had the opportunity to, to cheer very much and get some or to be in chats where other people are cheering and get some. I mean like, and I always like, I'll just, I'll always do like 200. Like even if I'm going to do more, like I'll do multiple 200s in order to get myself more, um, <laughs> more emotes. I know I said we weren't going to mess with this one, but let's just, because it's so handy right here. No. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 Thank you, Trey, for the bits, the ice cream cone bits. See, and then there's a little thing that says the chair shared rewards to three others in chat. And then like, if you were one of the people that got one of the emotes, then it'll pop up a little thing that says like, you got an emote, I think. As usual, we're going to finish off with Sesh Feet. Sesh Feet always makes me happy. Yeah, there are some that I quite want. Of course, it's like, well, which ones are going to be the ones that actually are kept? And like, that's the thing. Like, you don't know. So if you really want to keep the ones that are going to be kept, then you got to like try to get all of them. There's a nachos, which you guys understand why I need that one. Even though their nachos have like jalapeno peppers on top, which would never be on top of my nachos. Um, Trying to think what else I saw there was. There's like a... Uh, there's a pancakes, which would be good to have because, you know, we know pancakes. Um, I feel like that's kind of really glommed on there, but I'm hoping Sesh Feet will do its self-leveling thing and fix it for me. We're just, we're just glomming it on there. Well, because I'm trying to really like wrap my sidewalls and my tips. Remembering that we're back on peel off base coat rules. 
hey luke yeah i mean so you you apparently were here for that that was that was bad that made me very sad This is, I mean, I, like I said, well, you were, you were here. You heard everything I said. (laughs) Hi. I'm just sad. I'm just going to say it again. I'm sad. I, this is like not actual nail art, you guys. I mean, it's nails. It's, it's nail painting. You know, did I even remember to set any tags for my stream today? Oh, well, I'm so fucking, I'm like a noob again after not streaming for a week. Tags? (sighs) <sighs> yeah there's pizza there's spaghetti there's all kinds of things happening randomizer oh no oh, tags fail nail art randomizer that's like a that's like a Wayne's World sound isn't it dilly 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 not a not a randomizer sound um Luke has Pancakes posted anything about tonight? Ash said earlier that he hadn't decided what we were doing. And that's half the reason I'm I'm kind of hurrying. is because it's supposed to be race night. But then I also said, like, if there's a bye week, like, I mean, I guess that would be fine. I'm still going to do something tonight. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it reminded me of... Uh, what's, that, what's that one guy... He does videos with his brother and they're always making a wheel of, wheel of slime and that type of shit. It looked like exactly the same kind of wheel. I would be, I don't know if I could like really like in my heart participate in that. Cause like, that's like giving up control. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know if I can give up my control. Like, what if it picks something horrible? Of course, she, like, just made sure not to put anything horrible on the wheel. So, I guess I would still have control. Maybe I need to order me a wheel from Amazon. Rando Bingo Classic Version 2 Rando. I do, I do I would have to well I mean that's not hard I was gonna say I don't even have I don't think I have version two proper version two installed I have like two point two point a or two point nine I'd have to roll it back and because I haven't been using it since three point oh is in the installer now um let me hold on phone is on the floor which I forgot that it fell down there. Okay, we're going for the flashlight. And we're going to turn this down. Praise, thank you for the host. You're coming in at one of the only good points of the stream. (laughs) I shouldn't talk about it like that. You can see the the dark green hollow goody goodness happening here. If the camera would at all cooperate. I feel like I feel like this flashlight isn't quite strong enough and the other flashlight is too strong. Like you're not getting the linear Oh, there you are a little bit. Like the linear flame too much. Where's the other flashlight? Where? Oh, it's right here. Can somebody give praise a shout out, please? Ooh. Like it's too much, but it actually, in this case, is actually fine. So, okay, there we go. There's the flame. Dark green hollow, y'all. Dark green hollow. <clears throat> so, oh no, I'm even turning that back on because we're going to wrap up here. 
Um. Oh, thank you, praise. I hope you have a good evening at church. Let me see if there is somewhere to send you lovely people to. I will be back in an hour-ish. Um, presuming I can, like I said, find some dinner. I mean, I should be able to. My, you know, whatever. I'll find some dinner. I will come back and we will be doing some kind of something. Um, how, how's this going? Uh, oh, commercial. Just everything is like extremely irritating to me today. Like, of course there's a commercial. Why wouldn't there be a commercial? It's Twitch. Coconut shrimps. That sounds good, Dino. Yeah, for sure, Trey. Thank you again for all the bits and for stopping by. And I hope, I hope I'll see some of you guys later. Um, I'm gonna send you guys over to Mick. He is running a, a glitched category of Hollow Knight. Um, and he's actually the world record holder, but he's not happy with his world record, which he got yesterday. So he's working on a better one and it looks like he's a little bit behind right now, but I know from his comments earlier that he has a large time save at the end of the run. So I'm thinking it's still quite possible that this be a, uh, a world record run. Anybody new here, please feel free to join the discord where things are not quite as discombobulated as they are here on stream. Hollow Knight tonight, Dino. Mario will eventually make another appearance one day. The Nintendo is still out. I haven't put it away yet because I keep thinking, ah, maybe we'll do a little bit of Tetris or something. But uh, yeah, tonight is Hollow Knight race night. I'll be playing, I'm assuming Luke is going to join us. Dr. Crotron said he was going to try, try, try his hardest. Um, I know X is in X Creations. Um, I'm assuming Ash and Pancakes. Um... So yeah, I, I'm i not going to apologize again because I feel like i just been apologizing all stream. I'm just going to say thank you so much to all you guys for uh, for putting up with this discombobulation of things. Um, we, came out with a, we came out with a pretty good manicure. Like, you know, just imagine those rainbows you were seeing. All, all that's rainbows. It's kind of, you know what I would almost call this is like gunmetal green. I don't know if that's a real color, but that's what I would name this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go eat. Hopefully I will be not as bad as at Hollow Knight as I was at Nails. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes I'm bad at Hollow Knight too. So um, thank you all again so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whether it's evening, afternoon, or morning. And if you want to hang out some more, I will be back in about an hour. So... Thank you all so, so much. And I hope I'll see you next time. I think I said that already. I I tend to repeat myself at the end of stream. I realize. I'm, I'm getting better, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> see you guys later. And, of course, to everybody on YouTube in the future, um, this one was a weird one, but uh, I hope you at least enjoyed hanging out vicariously. If you love nail art, be sure to subscribe to my channel where edited tutorials are posted. And uh, if you'd like to join me live, you can follow over at twitch.tv slash ColetteMSLP. And as always, thanks for watching.